Clover Morning Class. Today is Wednesday, April the 29th, 2020. Do you remember what our pattern is this month? Lavender, pink, purple. A, B, C. We haven't sung our calendar time songs for a while, so let's review our days of the week with our song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And how about our months of the year? January, February, March, and April, May, and June, and July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Let's review our vowels this morning. Remember that vowels can make two different sounds. They can make a short sound when there is one vowel in the word followed by a consonant. Mrs. Short comes and stands over the, the short vowel and Mr. Short stands over the consonant. When there are two vowels in a word, the first vowel says its name. We've been looking at words that end with an E and marker E points back to Miss Long to remind us to say the vowel's name. When A makes its short sound, it says ah. Let's sing about the short A sound. Hear the ah sound in the A words. Ah in apple and in an ant. Ah in antlers and in backpack. All of these words have the ah. When E makes its short sound, it says eh. Let's sing about the short E. Hear the eh sound in the E words eh in engine and in eggs, eh in exit and in bedspread. All of these words have an eh. Short I says I. Let's sing about the short I. Hear the I sound in the I words. I in instruments and in itch. I in inchworm and in picnic. All of these words have an I. Short O says ah. Let's sing about the short O. Hear the ah uh sound in the O uh words. Ah uh in ostrich and in ox. Ah uh in otter and in hopscotch. All of these words have an ah. Uh. Do you remember the sound that short U makes? That's right. Uh. Hear the uh sound in the U words, uh, in umpire and in up, uh, in under and in bucket. All of these words have an uh. Let's practice writing some words. Maybe you could stop the video and go find something to write on um, so that you can write these words while Mrs. Seal works on them with you. The first word I want us to spell together is leg. Leg. What letter does leg begin with? That's the letter L. What vowel do we hear in leg? Leg. The vowel that says e eh is e. Leg. What's the last letter of the word leg? Leg. That's right. That's the letter G. 
Leg is spelled L E G. Let's spell another short vowel word. Ready? Hat. Hat. What's the first letter you hear in hat? That's the letter H. What vowel do we hear in hat? What vowel says ah? That's right. That's the A. Hat. What is that last letter? Hat. That's right. That's T. Hat is spelled H A T. Are you ready for another word? How about let's spell mop? Mop. Mop starts with the letter M. What vowel do we hear in mop? What vowel says ah? That's right, the O. Mop. Mop. The last letter is a P, isn't it? Mop is spelled M O P. Can you tell me how to spell the word bun? Bun. What's the first letter in bun? That's right, that's the letter B comes first when we write the letter B? Yes, our bat. Then our ball. There's the letter B. Bun. What vowel makes the uh sound in bun? That's right. That's a U. Bun. What's the last letter in the word bun? That's right, the letter N. Bun is spelled B-U-N. Let's spell one more short vowel word. This one is going to have a special sound in it, so listen carefully. The word is fish. Fish. What's the beginning letter of fish? That's right. An F starts the word fish. Fish. What's the vowel we hear in fish? That's the short I. Then comes our special sound. Fish. What two letters make the sh sound? S H Fish. How'd you do? Were you able to spell those words? Next, we will do some long vowels. So now let's sing our long vowel songs. The long A says its name. Listen, listen to the A sound. A in apron and in train. A in sailor and in crayons. All of these words have an A. Listen to the long E in these words. Listen, listen to the E sound. E in easel and in B. E in eagle and in TP. All of these words have the E. We will hear long I in all of these words. Listen, listen to the I sound. I in ice cream and in pie. I in island and in night light. All of these words have the I.
let's listen for a long O. Listen, listen to the O sound. O in ocean and in hose. O in oval and in snowman. All of these words have the O. Can you hear the U in these words? Listen, listen to the U sound. U in uniform and in blue. U in bugle and in music. All of these words have the U. Are you ready to write some long vowel words? You'll need to listen carefully to the beginning consonant sound, then the vowel that is saying its name, and then the consonant that follows the vowel. There will be a silent E at the end of each of these words. So the first word that I want you to write is hive. Hive. What's the beginning letter in hive? That's the letter H. What vowel is saying its name? Hive. That's right, that's the I. What's the consonant coming after the I? Hive. That's right, the letter V. What letter comes at the end to remind us that the vowel is saying its name? That's right, that's a silent E. Here we have the word hive. Next, let's do the word tune. Tune. What's the beginning consonant? That's right, the letter T. Tune. What vowel is saying its name? Tune. That's a U. After the U comes what consonant? Tune. Tune. That's an N. And then what comes at the end? Silent E. This is the word tune. Let's write the word hose. Hose. The beginning letter is H. What vowel is saying its name? Hose. Hose. That's an O. Hose. That sounds like a Z, but what letter sometimes says the Z sound? That's right, the letter S. And then what's going to come at the end to make the O say its name? The letter E. This is the word hose. Let's write the word same. Same. What's the consonant at the beginning of same? That's the letter S. What's the vowel that's saying its name? Same. That's the letter A. Same. What letters comes after the A? Same. That's an M. And then what letter comes at the end to make the A say its name? That's right, the E. This is the word same. So let's play a little review game. I have written six lists of long vowel words. I am going to roll this dice. Whatever number it lands on will be the row of words that we read together. If we roll the same number that has already been rolled, we will repeat the roll. 
All right, are we ready? Number four, kite, white, quite, bite. Number two, Mike, like, bike, strike. Number six. Bone, cone, tone, scone. Number one, rose, nose, pose, close. Number five, roll, coal. Mole, stole. Whoops, that's six. We already did that row. We need number three. Whoop, not yet. Fine, dine, mine, shine. I hope you enjoyed that review game. You could do the same thing with the word families at the end of your reading book. You could number the word families, then roll the dice and read the word family for the number that you roll. I hope you have a good time continuing to learn about your mom vowel sound.